So why do we faint? So why do we faint? Well, it all has to do with blood flow to our brain. Our brain only makes up about 2% of the mass of our bodies. However, it uses up about 20% of the energy we consume. And this means that with each heartbeat, about 20% of the blood that we pump goes to the brain. So the brain constantly needs blood. And when there is a reduction of blood flow to the brain, we faint. So why does this happen? Why is there a reduction of blood flow? So most cases of fainting are caused by what's known as vasovagal syncope. This involves the vagus nerve, which is the longest nerve in the autonomic nervous system. That's the part of the nervous system that controls involuntary functions. This nerve goes all the way from the brain down to the abdomen and controls things like peristalsis movement in digestion and more importantly when it comes to fainting, it also controls your heartbeat. In response to things like fear or pain, the fight or flight response takes place. This is the response that we evolved to deal with dangers like animal attacks for instance. This causes adrenaline and cortisol, which are hormones, to be released. This causes the heart rate to rise, meaning more blood is sent to the brain and the muscles. This means that you can either fight the danger or run away from it. The vagus nerve comes into play after the danger has passed. It's part of the parasympathetic nervous system. This means that it's responsible for slowing down the heart rate and dilating blood vessels so that the blood pressure returns back to normal. However, sometimes there's a mix-up of signals between the vagus nerve and the brain, and the response goes too far. Blood vessel dilation occurs and blood pools inside the legs, meaning that the blood pressure drops and less blood gets to the brain. This isn't the only reason why people faint. People can also faint because of heart conditions that cause an irregular heartbeat. They can even faint if they stand up too quickly because the heart struggles to pump blood to the brain. This brings us to the question, why did Victorian women faint so much? Well, this was mainly due to corsets. They started wearing corsets from an incredibly young age, like a very, very young age. The corsets were incredibly tight, which meant that it was hard to breathe, and even their heart struggled to pump blood. In addition to this, their clothes were incredibly heavy, even in the summer, which caused some people to faint due to overheating, or even from the sheer weight of their clothes. Glad we don't live in the Victorian era.